I reckon we can get some pretty tight shots of these buildings all the way from back here. We have to take them at the exact same time. Three, two, Three, one. one. And then 400. Oh <laughs> my god. Dude, that's actually... <laughs> pretty lightweight for what it is. Fattest zoom for the boys and for the girls. I know girls watch me as well. This is the Ligma. Sorry. This is the Sigma. <laughs> Great joke. 100 to 400, which they're gonna love that I'm throwing their lens up, but they oh, just straight up just shouldn't do that. It's not even funny. Today we're going to be going hands on with the Sigma 100 to 400 f5 to 5.6. That's wrong. It's an f5 to 6.3. This lens, in a design point of view, looks sick. It's just all matte black, which I really like. It kind of zooms out quite far, so if you're gonna get it, you probably need a tripod mount thing, but yeah. All right, let's get some ASMR going. Oi! Oi. All right, ASMR done, let's go shoot with this lens. We just got back from Sigma. We picked up a 50 millimeter lens, F1.4. If you want to win a 50 millimeter lens, go over to Mike's video. I don't know what he's going to title it. 400 mil car photography. There's all these new buildings over here and I want to see, I want to test the compression of this lens. I reckon we can get some pretty tight shots of these buildings all the way from back here. We have to take them at the exact same time. Three, two, Three, one. one. And then 400. Oh <laughs> my God. Dude, that's actually... <laughs> Dude, you can literally see in people. people's apartment. I can see someone's bed. Another good thing about this lens is even though it's like super big, it's super light because it's made out of magnesium. Uh, and it only, Sorry. <laughs> it's only, <laughs> it's only made for mirrorless cameras. That's why it's also so light. I think if we just stay around the middle of the road, we can shoot trams that go down here. We can shoot people walking across. I just want to try and get a focused shot of some sort of subject in the middle. So much depth. Like, oh, that's sick. F6.3 is, it's kind of good in that way. Like it has, like you can only shoot F6.3. At least you know everything's going to be in focus. Yeah. Oh, what if you got someone walking on that street up there? Cause then you just see them over the hill. Or even if we went down even lower, so you get Yeah, but fuck me, I guess. Who gives a fuck? There's just so much compression. I don't know any other way to say it. There's just so much compression at 400 mil of the tram and everything. We should probably get off the track, sir. So. <laughs> I should probably shoot over one four hundredth of a second. So like whatever your focal length is, say if I'm shooting at 400, try keep your shutter speed 400 minimum or above if you want to try avoid Motion, motion breath. I'm shooting at 1 500th f6.3 and my ISO is at 2000. I don't know if you can see how far away the tram was just then, but like the whole frame's full. It, 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 it becomes full when there's a lot that's going around there because everything that's in the background comes closer towards the lens. So yeah. it makes it look like it's really like thick. Thick, it's thick <laughs> photos. If you want to get dumb thick photos, you got to get a dumb thick lens. It's girthy. I really enjoyed shooting with this lens. I felt like it enabled me to shoot things that were so much further away that I wouldn't usually be able to see. Like, for example, this shot of this guy here. Usually, you'd be able to see that shot, but you wouldn't be able to take it. Like, for example, if I had my 35 millimeter on, I would just be way too far to take that photo. But 
because this thing zooms all the way into 400 mil, you can just snipe people from ages and just get the shot. It also helps that this lens has image stabilization. So it's got two different modes here. The autofocus is great. And the cameras that you're gonna be shooting this on, which is only the Sony E mount and the Canon L mount, because this lens is exclusively designed for these mounts. The lens launches in July, so you can't actually buy them yet. The retail price once this launches will be around 1400 AUD, so pretty good for a lens that does this well. I probably would buy this lens depending on the photography I did. Like if you do photography during the day, I would highly recommend this lens. If you do night photography, you can still use it, but you're just gonna need a really good tripod and you're gonna make sure you want the, that option that allows you to mount the tripod from the lens because I tried to do some photos this morning with just the tripod mount here and it's just not strong enough. Like when you zoomed in at 400 mil and you try to take an exposure any longer than 1 30th of a second, you're just getting that shake because my tripod isn't the sturdiest tripod you could get. Also, if you wanna shoot B-roll with this lens, you're gonna need a camera that has really good image stabilization. I don't know how many times I said the word compression in this video, but if someone wants to count it, leave it in the comments below, that'd be cool because I love how much compression this lens has. It's just so sick. Like the whole frame is just filled up with everything. So if you wanna get heaps of depth in your photos, this is a good lens for you. Now it's time to end the video. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. That's all for me today. As always, don't think, just do. Yeah, mate, I'll just transfer you the $1 million now. Okay, see ya. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Edna fucking comes out and she goes, <laughs> no capes. Yeah. <laughs> Edna mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Edna Mob. It's like Dino Guy got sucked up in a fucking airplane. Thunderdome. <laughs> sucked back into the tornado. <laughs> <laughs> ogres ogres are like, like onions. Onions can have fucking ogres. Quick.